your tie. <laughs> Hi, guys. Really bright. This is crazy. Can oh, you hear me? Is this? No. Yeah, there yes. it is. You just gotta, you gotta put it in your nose. Just go to sort of this. <laughs> It's like a T-Rex. It's not, it's not bad. The sound engineer in the back's like, please, God, Stop. don't. Please, fuck this I'm just going to tilt that. Thought you people Is that all right? Microphone. Is that all right if I just tilt that a little bit? All right. Yeah, we'll so, do uh, Check. One, two. Can you hear us? He's like, no, don't. Uh, uh, um, oh, hey, this is our Q&A. Yeah. We literally just... Just got in. We uh, we flew in about an hour and fifteen minutes yeah. ago. Yes, we did. So we grabbed some crappy Chinese food and it's threw delicious. our stuff in our room. And we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Is this your first time at Anime USA? Is it? <laughs> wow. I, is it? I think it is. Is it my first time? Wow, I was expecting that to go differently. <laughs> Apparently my wife has an early onset of Alzheimer's. I have the worst memory ever. Can you say that again for people that are filming for proof in the future? I have the best memory. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I heard it the first time. <laughs> well, introduce yourself, oh, pretty hi. lady. Okay, hi you guys. My name is Laura Bailey. That's your, that's your introduction? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, it better be really me. important. It's SPV. It's our, it's our agent is calling me right now. Well, take it. No. I'm not going to take it. What if, she's, what if it's like non-disclosure and I can't answer it? I know that. And then you guys would be privy to a secret casting. <laughs> oh, too late. It's a missed call. Oh. That's too bad. Okay, so hi. I'm Laura Bailey. I'm a voice... I'm... <laughs> What if it's important? Oh my god, who could it be? Calling me right now. You guys get to hear my voice. What does my voicemail sound like right now? I'm going to send it to voicemail. Oh. But probably have my phone on silent and don't remember. This is Laura. <laughs> I probably have my I probably have my phone on silent and don't uh, remember. Um, that's See? true. She doesn't remember anything. You don't remember crap. Um, so I'm a voice actress. OMG. You're married um, to me. I'm forgotten. married to Travis Willingham, who's also a voice actress. He's a really good guy. <laughs> and um, that's getting pretty no much love. it. That's getting pretty no much how it goes. Freaking love. I'm Travis Willingham. I'm a voice actress. <laughs> I'm known for my more sultry roles, such as Sailor Moon and Toru Honda. I did it. You, you made that sound like I actually played Sailor Moon. I did play Sailor yeah. Moon. No, I played Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor. Um, yeah, so this is my first time in Anime USA, Whee! and I know that. So yeah, we, we, we do a bunch of anime, and we do cartoons, and we do video games. And, and our good buddy Troy Baker's here. Yes, he is. Kari yeah. Car Walgren's also here. Whee! We rode here from the airport with her. She's wonderful. One of our super favorite directors ever, Mike McFarlane, is also here. <gasps> Chris Smith, Christopher Smith is also here. We did Lego Batman with him. Yeah, he played the Joker. He was awesome. He played Superman. I did. I played Wonder Woman. You are a wonderful woman. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't encourage her. Okay. Thank you. You can encourage me all you want. I can handle it. <laughs> I can't. So this is our Q&A, and since we're full of really terrible Chinese food that's making our stomach talk in strange languages, um, I guess we should just start by taking questions. Um, oh, look, we have, we have waters coming up. Oh, hey. Do we need to, like, say anything that we're in, or do you guys know all, like, every single thing ever? 
Answer everybody, questions. Answer everybody Troy. get on IMDb right now and look at things that we've done. <laughs> or no, even better, everybody get on Twitter and follow us. And follow us, us on Twitter, right. Because I have a better Twitter handle than hers. He or my twiddle handle is twiddle at, handle. My, my twiddle handle <laughs> is at willing blam because Willingham was already taken and blam is stupid. That's really good. Yeah. Mine's easier to remember. It's Laura Bailey V O. Wow, you have a short name. I tried Congratulations. To be, I tried to be clever and I was Lizard B on on Twitter for a while and then I realized that nobody could find me if they didn't know. Yeah, that. like why 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 who is Lizard, Lizard B? B? Yeah, so I changed. Yeah. That was a dumb name. <laughs> so, oh, your hand is up. Oh, <laughs> Yar. Why are you asking me a question, Blackstar? <laughs> okay. So, Kev, Laura plays a role of Maga and Soul Leader. Hey. Uh, now, is her cooking just like Maga, not tasty, but filling? <gasps> cook. Thank you very much. <laughs> the one wise guy goes, don't answer it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Wait, have you been doing this for years? <laughs> I remember you. I remember you. I was like, there was this guy dressed as Black Star, and he gave me a signed piece of Soul Eater art. Your cooking tastes horrible, but at least it was filling. Thank you, Black Star. Yeah, he signed it just like that, too. <laughs> I totally still have it. <laughs> it's in a big room. It's in, it's, we, we have, have one big, giant room. We have a big room full of all of our amazing things. We started to put all our stuff in, a, in, a, in our garage and then quickly realized there was no place for our cars. Yeah. So, no. so yeah. now it's in a room. Um, you notice I didn't answer that question? <laughs> yes. Hi. My cooking is delicious. <laughs> it's good. Is that the diplomatic answer there, Travis? Yes. Question. Which of your roles do you guys find the most meaningful if even if they aren't like your most famous. Most meaningful role you've ever had, even if it's not the most famous. <laughs> well, well, Travis. Um, just go on and answer that. You know, uh, I, I, uh, uh, Good meaningful answer, good start. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Toru Honda. Oh. Because yeah. she's, you know, like the first role that I played that was really carried the show and and the first role that I like fell so in love with and she's such a positive person and she has such a good message and that show has such a good message that it really meant a lot to me when we were doing it and it still does. Nice. I yeah. Would, I would say Roy Mustang just because <laughs> You guys, you guys have heard of him? Uh, he was, he was. I love dogs. <laughs> That's sounding better each time she does it. Um. <laughs> he was that kind of sounded like Shin. See, we're learning. <laughs> Tell me, Clugs. <laughs> um, yeah, we can't imitate each other because. <laughs> Husband and wife. Um, he was one of the more well-written characters that I've ever played. He had a lot of layers to him, so it was uh, it was easy to delve into all of his um, grief and struggle and desire and comedy and humor and, and sadness and all that stuff. And anytime you get to play that many, get off me, fly, <laughs> that many different things in a character, it makes it more fun to play, and it, it means more to you as a as a person, and it doesn't quite fade into the the ether as quickly, you know, because it resonates with you. So he was, um, he was one of my first really large characters and, and ultimately one of my favorites. So, yeah. Oh, and you had a small...
Can you check the pop screen and see if there's anything on that? That was a little one. That was like full blast. You haven't even heard this lion roar though. You know the MGM lion at the beginning of movies? It's like Burr! Like she and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn will Whoa. blow your head off. Mary is the queen. She'll walk up outside of like at, bar at barbecues and stuff and come up and get right by your ear and just make your hair move. Uh. <laughs> Lovely. Don't ooh, you're just I as bad. I swallowed a lot of air when I was trying to do that, so I might burp again later on. <laughs> get it's ready a, for it, you insane. guys. It's you're not you're not prepared. Oh, there was another there was another part of that. Yeah. Yes. Your question. Uh, I was hoping I could hear both of your impressions of Lisa Chan. Like what would you sound? Hi, I'm a giant bunny! <laughs> um... I'm a bunny too. I'm a little bunny and I like to sneak in the Maury's room and watch him while he takes a shower. I thought you were going to say something else. And then I sneak in the... What's Vic's characters? <laughs> into Tamaki's room with a knife and I stab him in the throat. And then I go into the... Oh, okay. 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 Oh my god. You're welcome. <laughs> Who'd you just call? I wasn't calling anybody. I was seeing what the SPD wanted. Oh, your hand is waving around like... <laughs> wow, I can hear you. That think is so weird. That I did leave something on the mic that time. Oh. Oh. What? What's so gross about that? You. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, I have a request for Travis to record this. Uh, I want you to say in Ace's voice, my name is Porcus D. Ace, and my brother's going to be king of the pirates. My name is Porcus D. Ace, and my brother's going to be king of the pirates. Yes. <laughs> Easy to please. <laughs> please. Whoa, yeah. The peas pop, pop here a lot. Pop screen. This isn't actually a pop you're, screen. You're going pizza. next. Pick somebody. Oh, Jesus. In the back. When you guys, when you did, or said before the golden, did you have to read the entire video game or just to do the lines? Which, which game? Just the, just the new lines, I think. Just the new lines? I think so. From what I remember. Because I went in less, so I'm assuming just the new lines. You know, with some time. Uh, probably, it was probably like a four, Ten maybe four hour session, maybe an eight hour session, something like that. Maybe a couple four hour sessions. I could, it could have been less than that. How much did I talk in that game? I'm going to say two four hour sessions, probably. We move really fast recording Persona games. Nice. You're welcome. I have nothing. I have a burp trapped inside. Oh, no. Unleash right, the Kraken. Right here. It's like, ugh. Blue in the aisle. Yes, you. I love all these requests for you. Yeah, just work on that burp. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. Oh. 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 No, it's stuck. Oh, she's gonna film it. I don't even. What's your name? Cam. 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 C A M. Cam. Cam. C A M. Cam. Wait, no, Cam. As in like Cameron. Cam. Camera. Cam. How do you spell it? C. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear. Cam! Happy birthday to you. That was a little shin interjection right there in case you're... Cam. Yes. Oh, yeah. I had two questions for Bailey. Yes, that's me. Yeah, could you do a Tokenese voice from Kikaishi? Can I do what? Tokenese voice from Kikaishi. Oh, you know, I think so. It's kind of around here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is she one of your well-known roles or your favorite roles? One of my favorite roles? Yeah. 
That's really hard. I mean, every role is like, you know, you identify with it. Um, uh, I feel like, I mean, I have other roles that I love more just because I do. Um, but I love her. Because you weren't getting chased around by demon ghost sperm dogs? <laughs> they were really awesome, okay? Got it. They were really Still yeah. sperm dogs. <laughs> oh, I burped and I forgot to do it on the mic. Damn it. Aww. Sorry, you guys. You were cooking it up that I whole know, time. I know, I know I was. I feel so stupid. <laughs> you need a Dr. Pepper over here. Oh, is it my turn? Do you finish the answer? Yeah, I did. Did I? <laughs> Next See? question. Alzheimer's. Right. That was, yeah. See? Yes, you. Uh, question for Travis. Yeah. Um, a couple. Uh, two at most. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a couple. Well, maybe two. It could be three. <laughs> Right. And I don't know, I'm leaving up to that. I want to try to avoid spoilers, but did you know that you were going to have uh, the lead up to this uh, for the roles coming on? Sorry, not coming on. Um, <laughs> 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 or, like, you know, Ace, Ace coming back onto the scene and him doing stuff, and uh, did you know ahead of time what this was going to be? Wow, Jesus God. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, I think the last time I recorded Ace in One Piece was like three or four years ago. A long time. Um, and just recently we did uh, some episodes where Ace comes back. Um, they were very fun to play. Um, God, mother of Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, to prepare for Ace, I don't really do anything. Um, he's just, I really don't. He's just kind of a cocky swagger type of character, not too far from Mustang. He's got a little more gravel in his voice and he just, uh, there's less command and authority when he talks. He's just kind of a, you know, a solo shooter. Um, so I don't really prepare or do anything for it. And he, he's such a minor character in the grand scope of things. He's a very cool character with a cool story arc and he has some awesome fights, no doubt. But, uh, you know, my part is just to come in, do this one thing, and then bounce. And that's, that's pretty much how I look at it. Bounce. And just a question about Mustang. I know that Mustang was, had big differences between original, you know, the whole original anime and Brotherhood. Yeah. How was that, like, changing up? You know, you're playing the same person, but, you know, different actions. And so he has some really scary moments. I enjoyed, I enjoyed Brotherhood much more. Um, a lot, a, there are some actors that really prefer the first series. I, I personally like the second one, probably for selfish reasons. Um, I always liked that Mustang got to torch Lust. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, that whole fight sequence was incredible. Um, yeah, it really the, was a cool fight sequence. As, as was the one with Envy, where he just completely loses his mind. And for me, that was, you know, finally payback for all the, the grief and, and sadness that he's been put through, as, as well as everyone else, so. I win. Um, yeah, so I, I like I like the second one a lot more. Um, but it was essentially the same character me. I just got to go a little bit more nuts with it, which is cool. You, my lady. Oh, oh no, I chose him. Oh, you did? Yeah. White. White. Hair, jacket. Why does he white? White. Question and request for both of you. Was it like voicing the high on Chun Li and the background by After you answered, did you do like say each say like your favorite move for your favorite character? Okay. Yeah, do your favorite move first. <laughs> well, I can't really do it if I'm playing it, but it's the one I remember how to say. Do it. Spinning bird, kick! <laughs> yeah, when we play as our characters, we literally cannot mash the buttons in the so right order. We suck so bad. Happen. Like, all I want to hear him is have him go, Sonic Boom! But there we go. we're sitting there, like, and we see what the directions in the thing are, and we played games our whole life, but, for, I mean, we're just... It's pathetic. It's like, it literally, like, we're you like, blinded both of our characters, uh -huh. got us drunk, and then turned the whole freaking world upside down. Like, we're jumping... 
and away from each in. other. We never punch each other. And kick in. Because we're, we're just trying to make ourselves screen. do moves. So we're just like <laughs> up against the wall, like flailing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really. And then sad. like one hit happens, and we're like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so we're sad. terrible. We're terrible at that game. But it was um, really awesome to get to play those characters. Yes, because they it was. are so iconic. And I mean, when we, when I went in, I did, I'm assuming you probably had the same sort of experience. When uh, I went in, it was all NDA, so the title of the game was really secret, and we didn't know what it was. It was like Project Kitten Farts. Yeah, five. something like that. <laughs> Something like kitten farts, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, my character's name was just like girl one or girl two or whatever. And Jonathan Klein, like, slid a picture of her across the table. And he's like, so that's uh, the image of your character that you're auditioning for? And uh, I'm like, ah, oh my God, that's trembling. So um, I like, freaked out and was very excited. And um, I... <laughs> I think I was like one of the only girls that knew it was Chun Li that auditioned for it. Which is sad. It's really sad. Um, it was the same thing for for Guile. They, uh, you know, it was like character F. Mm. Uh, we just had letters. Character G, maybe. No, nope, hey. it was not a G. Okay. Ah. <laughs> and all the lines were just vague, you know, random lines. And he was like, you know, just try and be very like American, like military <laughs> hero. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, like, of the sixth line, the last one with a six next to it was Sonic Boom. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is this Street Fighter? And he's like, maybe. maybe. <laughs> oh, crap! <gasps> uh, in the back corner over there. How'd you see? Th Man, I am like a freaking hawk. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. A lot of fun. <laughs> it we was get, really cool. We get to work on a lot of really great series, a lot of really great properties and characters. Um, for us, I, I mean, I played Sonic when I was, you know, like 10 or something on the old school Sega Genesis. Um, yeah. I played it for years, so to be able to, uh, to hop in and play Knuckles, who I remember coming in years after that, um, was, was pretty, pretty sweet. How do you feel? I feel pretty good about it. Yeah? Yeah. The, the hardest thing about that project is voicing Omachow, because he's so high. Oh, yeah. And he yells a lot. Well, he doesn't even yell. He's just so enthusiastic. And when I auditioned for Omachow, I actually... <laughs> like sprained my throat or whatever when I was auditioning for it because I like I didn't know what I was doing and I just like tried to do like the highest little boy sort of thing weird robot thing that I could think of and they ended up casting me and I was like why did I audition with that voice and now I have to do it for like eight hours straight it was so painful um but our director like taught me different ways to like hold my body in order to make it less painful and it actually it was a really good learning experience that whole Project. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, there. The more you know. I'm gonna see if I can see. Oh my God! I can't see him now. That's so weird. <laughs> she got glasses. I got recently. glasses last week. I didn't know I couldn't Don't see. Don't they look good? I didn't know I couldn't see until I went. <laughs> she like she like really can't see. Like 80 percent, 50 percent. Like really can't see. Thank you. It's okay. You're blind. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. It's not um, that blind. Ooh, who hasn't asked a question yet? You. Well, that's no. A, that's an that's an easy question. I'm gonna say yes because I'm nice. Sure. Did you just want Travis to hug? No, go give her a hug. You said yes. I said no. <laughs> Yes. Uh, first of all, thanks for being here. Um, second, hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for being here. Um, what does for both of you, what would you say is your biggest regret in our careers? Well, biggest regret in our careers. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all, that, all that porn we didn't do? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? 
think. I yeah, mean, I, we both do like did like really terrible independent films back when we were first getting started. That those are really regrets. We just pray stupid. nobody ever sees. Um, but yeah, it's not like it's regrettable. It's just like they're not very good. Yeah, the, we we've worked on projects that later on you're like, oh, oh my nobody god. Look at that ever. But yeah, they're not. Important. But everybody has those. Yeah, right. Um, there's oh, there's one that's really like, uh, uh, and it was right when we were doing Fruits Basket. <laughs> And uh, they wanted like to do a commercial for the fruits basket line of clothing. Do you have you ever seen this horrible commercial? So they asked if I would do it, and I was like, "Sure, I'll put on a fruits basket shirt. That sounds fun." And um, we shot this horrible commercial where I'm like wearing a fruits basket shirt and like ah, like sitting in a chair and laughing, and then like like I'm forgetting who's shooting it. They're like, "Look at the camera and say shh." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, and what? <laughs> what was this? I was when we were doing fruits basket. It was. I think it was like. I think it was. It was. It was right after you and I dated the first time, and I cut my hair like super short. Yeah, it was around that time because I had short hair during it. Wow. So it must have been like twenty. No, I don't know where they are. No, dear God, do you think it's on YouTube? Sure, they'll find it now. (laughs) Great way to make sure it gets found. (laughs) No, don't look for it. Don't look for it. (laughs) Don't. It's so embarrassing. We're gonna look it up. Black star, put your phone down. (laughs) Oh, hi. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I don't think Keiko plays Xbox Live. Let's be honest. Really? Keiko? No. I mean, I've Keiko totally doesn't play show. Xbox. Keiko is like the one going, "Get off that controller! It's time to study." You know. <laughs> That's sad, but it's true. Oh wow, That's disappointing. <laughs> yes. I, I, I remember being there. Is there a specific incident? <laughs> oh. oh no. Probably not. <gasps> I feel like this is bait. What? No. <laughs> There's no way we'll remember. What happened? What was it? <gasps> oh my god! Really? That was an enemy Boston? That's awesome! Hug number two! <laughs> Oh, she, he proposed to his wife at the end of her panel. Oh. 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 And they have kids now. Woo. <laughs> That's all. I am. Oh. I am for his kids. That's awesome. <laughs> Seriously. What? It is. It is. Yeah, you pick somebody. Oh, it's my turn. Yes, you in the red shirt. That's you. Is it okay have two questions? Oh, I don't know. I think that's quite all right. First one is just for you, Laura. Okay. When we took over Anko and Naruto, Yes. I'm not really allowed to raise the question, like, do you like playing with her, or, like, is there anything? I mean, she's my character. She's totally cool. Yeah, I love her. I, I think of her like, we, we call her like Clint Eastwood. Whenever I'm getting in the booth to record, we're like, okay, get in Clint Eastwood mode. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything interesting you two can share about reporting for Sendo to Bostra, either the anime or the video game? Yes. Um, oh. Chris Bevins was the ADR director. For the anime? For the yes. anime. Um, and when you would ask for some context to a line, Chris, being an incredibly <laughs> intelligent individual, would start to give you like 50 years of history of feudal Japan warfare. <laughs> and all I wanted to know was whether he was angry or not. <laughs> like, well, you see the clans in that time, and the northern most was like, Chris, is he happy or sad? We have to remember that the timeline's delineated between us. Like, Chris! <laughs> I literally have to say, yes, Atomoto. 
Okay, he's sad. Thank you! <laughs> no, uh, he, he's, he knew that story in and out. Yeah. And was very, very well spoken considering the entire thing. I just enjoyed being really, really, really creepy. <laughs> Those little songs are creepy. real creepy. Yeah. You were creepy, creepy. Yeah, and I did like weird... You know, you always kind of adopt the stance of whatever voice you're doing at the time, and like doing that character, I would always like kind of lean weird, and they had always remind me to keep on mic because I'd always want to like sway strangely. <laughs> but you were in the whisper, the whisper rooms, right? Yeah. You can, ah, uh, you can move in there. I, they're so. I mean, I'm. Oh I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm in the you're like stuck in a coffin. Booth. I can't go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, so many hands. Uh, <laughs> it's your choice. It's is your it choice. mine? Yeah. Uh, right here. Oh, was me? it? I, let's see. For me? Uh, can I ask you both uh, how, how you got into uh, the voice acting field? Human sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was doing a play in, in, in Dallas, and um, one of the guys that was in the show with me uh, was doing Dragon Ball Z at the time. And um, so he, a couple people from Funimation, from a couple people from Funimation came to see the show. And also, he asked me his name, um, it's Kent Williams, and he's amazing, by the way. He asked if I wanted to go in and audition because they had a bunch of parts coming up and not too many girls that were auditioning. And so I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And so I did. And um, I ended up getting cast. In a roundabout way, it took a little bit, but I got cast as Kid Trunks. Um, and then it just kind of took off from there. Yeah, Kid Trunks, Blue Gender, Fruits Basket. Yu Hawk Show. Yu Hawk Show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I was a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I've seen every stinking episode of DBZ. And <laughs> in college, uh, I frequently tried to get my friends to watch it. We'd all like watch Toonami in the afternoons uh, together. And uh, <laughs> I was actually in a fraternity and we had flipped one channel past ESPN one day and there was the end of Dragon Ball Z and all the jocks that are in the room all see these large, muscly dudes that are all beat up with spiky hair and they're all yelling really loud and like blowing up and creating death with their hands. And we're like, yes, what is this show? So it became a thing to come down into the chapter room, which is this big gathering room, and watch it. And one day, instead of flipping away as soon as the, the show was over with, the credits were rolling, and I saw Laura Bailey's name go up the screen. And I was like, what did that? <laughs> because Laura and I had the same theatrical agents in Dallas when we were in college. I got um, the agent from the play as well. She came to see the show. Yeah, yes. and I knew her from working on some things, but I didn't know know her. So I called my agent and go, oh my god, Laura Bailey's in this show that I love, how is that possible? And she goes, I don't know, she does it, it's in Fort Worth. I was like, I go to school in Fort Worth! <laughs> so I called Laura on her cell phone and... No, it was my home phone. Oh, well, I got, I got her number. I'm still living with my parents. I got her number from my agent and the phone call was pretty much like, oh my god, I got her phone, please let me audition. <laughs> and Laura's response was, who is this? <laughs> so I took a breath and said again, Hi, my name's Travis. So we've worked together before. I really like the show that you're in. Now how do I get to be on that show? She goes, oh, we work out in Funimation. I was like, can I please get an audition there? I promise I won't suck. And she was like, yeah, totally. Oh my gosh, totally. I'll, I'll tell somebody to call you in. And two years later, that never happened. <laughs> never happened. Oh, Every time I'm I saw an her an audition, person. Can I get an audition in front of me? Oh my totally gosh, yes. I, you know what? I have said your name like five times. They just haven't been having auditions. Nothing. For like two years. So finally, two years later, Mike McFarlane and I, who's Mike's here this weekend, we were doing an independent film. And... Uh, he was like, yeah, we should totally have you over to Funimation audition. I'm like, I oh, know. <laughs> so I finally I got an audition. I said your name. I had. Shut up. You're out of this story. <laughs> Home <wrecker. laughs> oh. Dream killer. <laughs> I had this beautiful married house with me. Builder. With me and Goku. We were going to be married. <laughs> and then you came and you stomped on the dreams. <laughs> Anyway, so by the time Mike finally got me on audition, DBZ was already recorded, so that was done. But I got cast as Yana Gisawa in Yu Yu Hakusho, which is like this little, small little character. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited to be working at Funimation. 
You know, is he a, a cool Saiyan that gets angry and blows things up? And he's like, no. Like, what do I do? He goes, you're a shapeshifter, and if you get punched in the face, you go unconscious and shift back to your original form. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and it. And I ended up doing a theater show with Colleen Klinkenbeard as well, and Justin Cook saw it. And was like, hey, I watched you audition for Full Metal Alchemist. We have this character named Colonel Roy Mustang. I think you'd be great for it. And I was like, what's his name? And he goes, Colonel Roy Mustang? I'm like... <laughs> That can't be bad. <laughs> so that happened. Hands. The other guy that I didn't call on, that was right in front of him. Yeah. Uh, so, um, from what you guys said earlier, I can tell that you hang out with other voice actors and stuff. A little bit. How often is it that it's, it's uh, you know that they're going to be in there, and how often is you just kind of walk in the recording studio and, oh, hey, that's you. Oh. Uh, uh, um, uh, a lot what? Which way? A lot both ways. <laughs> a lot of times we walk in and, you know, since we've been hanging oh, out, we'll go, oh, did you audition for this? Yeah, I did. Did you get cast? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, cool. When are you recording? You know, um, and then sometimes you just walk in and you get surprised that, you know, your friends are standing next to you in the booth, which is really cool to you. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. It's pretty much how it goes. That's true. Yeah. Or like, hey, high five. Or like, oh, I don't know you at all. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh my gosh, you're Mark Hamill. <laughs> yeah, you got to work with him for the first yeah, time. Yeah, just recently. Yeah. I was like, I, oh my gosh. I walked in and they were like, I, I saw him and I like made myself go blank. And I was like. <laughs> and they were like, Laura, this is a cast, this is Mark. I was like, nice to meet you, Mark. <laughs> like, nice to totally, meet you, Luke. I mean, Mark. I mean, Mark. <laughs> yeah, totally acted like I was not yeah, was affected at all. Pretty cool. Mark, Mark never cool. remembers anybody. Um, uh, uh, yes, right here with the blue. Do you have blue ears or is that a blue? Bow. It's a flower. Um, this is for um, Travis actually. Um, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> um, working on this Shishi, how was it different from other roles you've had, seeing as you were like the only recurring? Right. I was the only important person in that show. <laughs> Laura was in that show, but she was not me, so therefore she was not important. <laughs> um, Mushishi was great because it was a great change of pace from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, which was the thing that I, I worked on just before that. Um, there was like no action.